welcome back to my channel. This morning, I decided I wanted to do something very impulsive, and that is make over my living room. I've been thinking about it for a while, and this morning, I started browsing Etsy and Amazon and Urban Outfitters, and I was like, okay. I think we know what we're about to do. As you can see, my living room is all white. I never wanted any color. My bedroom's pretty neutral too, but from being home all the time during the pandemic, I spend all of my time in my house. And honestly, it's just gotten very boring to me. And if you watched me for a while, you know that I love to do like room makeovers. It's just where I thrive. I'm gonna start with almost every inch of my living room. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm browsing right now, my color scheme. So this is probably gonna be a week, two week long project. So let's get it started. show you guys the stuff that I've been browsing. I'm a huge fan of taking things that you already have and dyeing them. So I found this Rit dye, it's in the color sandstone. I'm gonna do a couple blankets, maybe pillows in this color scheme. I really, really love it. I wanna do a lot of clays and greens. So thinking about dyeing a couple blankets that color so that I don't have to like go out and buy all new things. I was browsing rugs and I just happened to come across this one on Google and I found it on Kohl's for $70 with an extra coupon I have too. And I'm really loving it, although I just got a new puppy. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I wanna get rid of my old one because it's ugly. I don't wanna reveal too much, but this is a little bit of the scheme that I'm going for. And then the one item that I'm gonna treat myself to, which isn't even much of a splurge at all because it's like 50 bucks, is a new TV console because I, despise mine. I tried painting it. It looks gross. The paint, you can like see the paint lines. It's just bad, bad stuff. So this is the one I'm thinking about getting. It's a light oak and then it has this little white shelf underneath, which I am just obsessed with. And I think it's going to look a lot better and a little bit more minimalistic. Since I can't obviously do this all in one day, I'm going to start with the things that I can change, which is going to be one of my little windowsills, which is currently a coffee bar, and I just don't love it. I don't love the decor. I'm gonna turn it into an actual bar, like an alcohol bar. I just think it'll be better for the summer. I feel like I tend to drink more in the summer anyway. I wanna make it a little bit more adulty, and I just don't love the coffee bar decor. I sat on it for a few months, and it's just, not my thing. So that's a thing that we can do right now. So let's go do it. So this is what the coffee bar looks like, but I have all of my alcohol up here that we're just gonna move to here i'm gonna put some more wine glasses on here some straws and i don't really know where i'm gonna put the rest of this but i suppose we'll figure it out <laughs> All right, so this is what we got so far. It looks a little too spaced out, so I feel like I'm just gonna get like a little tray to put the alcohols on, but I have some shot glasses, bucket, and then I did this with the cute straws that I just got from Amazon that I'm actually obsessed with. I'm gonna put them on this little coaster. We got some mixers, so let's go look for a tray. Ikea, I haven't been in so long, I'm so excited. The only thing I really wanna get here is a lamp fixture and it's in stock at the South Philly location. I wanna get like a little tray for my little bar table. So we'll see if I can get one of those. I'm very excited to head in here, so let's do it. to home goods as well. I want to shout out Tracy because she noticed there was something wrong with an item and she gave me like 30% off. So I really only spent like 10, $15 maybe. I got this, I thought it was really cute. I wanted something to kind of put on my coffee table that would like just give it some like layers and depth to it. So I thought this was really interesting. So I guess we'll figure out a place for that to go. And then at Ikea, I only spent like 
30-ish dollars maybe. I got this tray and then I got two chair cushions. I already put one on that one and I don't really love it. So I think these are already going back, but I just wanted to see if I would like that. Then we got this lamp. I'm not gonna unbox it yet. You guys are gonna have to wait till the final reveal, but it's so cute. It's kind of like antique-y, but like modern at the same time. Also, my TV console is coming today by 8 p.m. Amazon said, and I was like, holy shit, wasn't supposed to get here till the 24th. So I'm shocked, so excited to put that together today. All right, you guys, look what just came in. It is my TV console. Also, I just listed this on Facebook Marketplace and it sold instantly. So the girl is coming in like 15 minutes. So that was very easy. Justin's on his way over to help me bring it down. Then we're gonna set this up. I also have been like spackling up little areas that need to be spackled. So I'm getting very excited. that I ordered on Amazon. I don't necessarily know if I love it. I did look at the print before. We'll see. I got this frame. I think it was $8. Okay, I think we like it. It is much better than these old cheesy dollar store looking prints. I've always hated these. I just never knew when I was gonna swap them out. So I love this, I'm really happy. And I think the print was like $7 on Amazon. Hello, it is Friday now. We had some more packages come in. I actually had a package come in last night, which was my pillowcases. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep them yet, but I got some beautiful pompous grass. All of this, which is like a lot, was I think $8, which is like really a good deal for pompous grass. We got a vase. This is going to go on top of my little Chanel book. And then we got some reed diffusers. They don't smell at all. I got another little Chanel coffee table book because I wanted to do two books stacked. The little book of Chanel. How cute. I love this. All right. So it's a little bit later in the day now. I just got another package in. These were $50 and I got them on sale for, oh my God, they match. I got them on sale for $14, so a bitch knows how to get a deal. They're a natural wood color, and they're gonna go above my TV where the old ones were. I didn't expect them to be this big, but I'm really glad they are this big because my TV's a lot lower now. So yeah, let's get these hung up and set up. Good morning, guys. It is now day six, day five of this project. I think it's day six. I have a bunch of packages coming in today that are kind of like the final touches. So we're at Lowe's right now because I got a really really cool succulent hanger that I showed you guys in day one actually. So I have to get nine little succulent plants. I actually might do herbs too, cause it's gonna be in my kitchen anyway. So I'm like, oh, I think herbs would be really cute, but I don't know if they'll grow in my living room. So we'll see. Hello, sir. You're just so cute. We got our plants. I got three of each. I got these, I have no idea what they're called. I have no idea what any of them are called, but these are gonna hang and these are gonna hang. And then this is just like a standalone. I'm really excited about these. And then we got some decor pieces that just came in. This is actually a wall hook to go right there, which I have been wanting to get rid of this for so long. I've had it for way too long. So I found this one on sale at Urban Outfitters and I am really obsessed with it. And then another thing on sale is this candle. How gorgeous is this? I love it. I might take the tassel off, we'll see, because I don't have like silver in my house at all. And then I got this this bubble candle from Amazon. We are gonna get to hanging everything. So I don't wanna reveal too much, but I got this new pompous grass and I saw on YouTube that if you hit it with a blow dryer, it fluffs it up a lot more. And I am really, really liking how it's all turning out. But I think we are almost ready to do the big reveal because everything is coming together. I've been hanging things, putting all of the decor together. Now, 
day seven. I haven't done much today because one of the DIYs that I was supposed to do ended up not being able to come today. I took today to really like nail things into the wall, hang things, as you see, I hung that. I decorated this little shelf. We are gonna do my frames now because I got pictures printed at CBS. I'm gonna go get them. I left them in my car, but we're gonna start with the frames now. Unfortunately, today wasn't as productive, but I think there's two more things coming. Okay, so these are the pictures. I hate them. The coloring is way too blue. When I edited them on Afterlight or Lightroom, I'm sorry, I like wanted to do a sepia tone so I could have like warm colors and stuff. And they are all very, very blue. And I'm just like not happy with them, but we're gonna put them in anyway and see how it looks. Okay, so I just hung them and then lowered them a little bit. I actually don't hate the color. I really don't. I think it brings like a nice little cool tone, a little pop of cool tones, but I really like them. I think they look really good. But I will see you guys in the morning when we unbox some more stuff. Hello, it is now Monday. One of the things I'm super excited about just came in. It is the planter that I'm gonna be hanging. And I got this off Etsy from a small business. So it's a three tier plant hanger and then it comes in these little pots. I think some of them are white and some of them are clay. And my succulents are gonna fit perfectly in here. So let's go put it together. All right, so it's a little bit bigger than expected. Justin's hanging it a little bit higher for me, but I'm obsessed with it. It looks so good. I'm obsessed with it, this might be the best money I've ever spent on home decor. So something I've wanted for a really long time is one of those clay knots or like links, but they're so expensive. So I figured we could make our own. I got this block of clay. I'm gonna try and make it into a little knot. There's a lot of it. So if I mess up, I'm gonna just try again. Let's try it out. So I have no idea what to put down. So we're gonna do aluminum foil and see uh, how that works. Sorry, someone wants to be in the video. This is what it looks like. I'm not gonna show the entire thing until I reveal the last clip, but I'm so obsessed with the color. I feel like they bring out all of the decor. One more thing. I actually just ran to Target and I got two things. I got this blanket to put in here. It was only like 30 bucks. I don't know if I love it yet, so please let me know. And I picked up this candle that I love. It says noir. It's a wood and musk scent, but I'm probably not gonna light it. Just keep it for decoration, but I really, really, really love it. This is the final thing that just came in are these little coffee table beads. I'm obsessed. I got them from a small business, an Etsy shop called Milton Grace Designs, and I think they look so cute. Welcome back. It is time for the big reveal. I just got in some finishing touches, and I'm so ready to show you the place. I think everything looks stunning. <laughs> obsessed the rug tying in all of the colors together on this side table right here we have a nice little candle from urban outfitters a vase with some pompous grass obviously we kept the couch i think this clay colored velvet pillow adds so much to it and it's a little bit of a different texture which i'm definitely vibing with over on the windowsill we have the lamp from ikea this little stand from tj maxx and then my beautiful hotel collection candle, the greatest candles that you will ever smell in your life. And you can use the code Kalani Anastasi 20 for 20% off. We have the colored pompous grass looking beautiful and the artwork. I love this minimalistic print and I am obsessed with how the frames turned out. Didn't change much over here, but I like how it turned out with another 
hotel collection candle, and then we added the map, which I've had in previous rooms. Nothing really different at my kitchen table other than these little cushions my lovely flowers Justin got for me. This has really maximized storage. This is from Urban Outfitters. I love this. It has enough hooks for all of Justin and I and Maverick stuff. I love the little clay colored details on that. My favorite part the rug. I am obsessed with the rug and how the coffee table came together and how all of the colors just really blend so nicely. We have the tray from Ikea and the bubble candle and the beads from Etsy. Over at my TV stand, I added some pompous grass in this little vase with rocks. I have these vintage books that I got from Etsy not too long ago. I also don't think the clay knot turned out that horrible, especially when it's far away. And then this beautiful glass candle from Urban Outfitters. The only thing I changed from this area was this beautiful clay colored blanket that I got from Target. And the basket is from TJ Maxx. And lastly, my favorite part of the house. My favorite piece of home decor I've ever gotten in my life. I will definitely link this down below. It is handmade from Etsy. And then over here, I just added some pompous grass to a vase from Urban Outfitters and this wooden bowl. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video.